Hi, and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa with the big series live. As always, I have got my people in the building to do the entire show with me. You know how we do it. If I was okay, and Oyeka baby. Hi, people. What's going on? What's going on? Hi. How are you? I'm blessed. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to die in the Cuba links. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm a die in the Cuba links. Look for, look for I like the hand that you use to do it. Yeah. Hello, douche. Okay. Um, I hope everybody's been good. How was um the first day of the Salah um break? Any very annoying. <laughs> so I have a big question to my Muslim brothers in Victoria Island, the Koji, Leki, even the uh, Ethiopian. Along Asia Island, that we are not passing top Milan Bridge. Mm. Trust invite us to come and eat meat. Now these people, they are so economical that they do their own ones. Mm -hmm. So they give them two breaks. You see the mainland people doing yesterday, and they are still turning up today, right? Yeah, yeah. But this one, someone that went around, they want I have no other things. <laughs> So they just choose a day. So already I got an invite today. So the guy was like, oh no, we don't do anything yesterday, but now today now come to me. So I was like, finally I got But I had ram meat this morning. Mm. Yeah, yeah, good enough at least. Yeah. I tasted it. So I don't have to cross <laughs> told me land to go. I said you will make me pass told me land. Yeah, give me one full ram more. <laughs> Live. Eh? That'll be doing more in the car. Oh my Are you playing? Oh my goodness. But it's cool though, it's cool though. Uh, Happy celebrations to uh, my Muslim brothers uh, and sisters. for sure, yeah. for sure. And you, babe, did you get? Um, just the family get together. Okay. Mainland, because that's where I stay, basically. Okay. So that's all. Nothing. nothing did you eat deep. the meat? Yes, now. Oh, okay. That's what about of you? Course. I mean, I, I had a few options, but then we ended up at Ibutimeta. I ate my meat nicely. Then there was one in UPDC, but I don't eat the ram meat there. The UPDC ram is just around the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I yeah. finished there. Um, but I didn't eat the. the Goat meat. I just ate like normal party food or whatever. Mm. But, it was and but the meat, there was meat on top of the party. Yes, food. now where it was, <laughs> was ram meat. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. Uh, you but think anybody like, will be buying meat also when they kill ram? True. Think true. about it. They just. But it was it like different. very like stewy. It was like. And then they put yeah, their yeah, yeah, stew. Yeah, mm. yeah. Okay, I guess so. No, you, you say that actually. I'm typical Nigerian guy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, it was really fun. I'm sure you know that one. Anyways, move on. Shout out to Dr. <laughs> Fricks as well. My friend had a nice show yesterday. Um, I, it's not marketing because she has already finished. So I'm just saying congratulations to you. Dr. Who? Fricks. He's a comedian. He's oh. had his first stand up. That was really Were nice. Were you there? Yeah, I was there. Where, where did it take place? Ojota. Um, how many places did you go to yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> Rome. She knew Rome, actually. I do, I do. What? Uh -huh. I haven't been to Ojota in like three years. Really? Or four. Do I pass Ojota when I'm going to my family? No. no I've no, been no, 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 like, I don't, I've not had the, any business with Ojota mm. in like three, four years. Yeah. And you, that just came back to Nigeria, <laughs> you're already going. <laughs> I have to explore my country. <laughs> yeah. All right, okay, before we even start the, um, the show and the conversations for the day, let's uh, see our training video for today. Take it away, guys. We do first, then run, you will do second. How? Y'all are seeing it? This one? Come on. You see? <laughs> what? what? You see? 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 I don't like. People, I don't understand you men. People take jokes too far. Too and it's always men. Mm -hmm. They do too much. Like but what did he do? What exactly? Did he he do? removed the ball and made his. No, <laughs> the guy missed it. Ha, hey. He didn't take it away. He missed it. <laughs> he took it the away. The first guy it. tried and then he missed it. He took it. He took it away. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. He missed it. <laughs> no, he took it away. It's not nice. You should stop. I'm doing telling that. you, that he missed it. You've hey. seen, oh, you've seen people, kids on all these YouTubers doing stupid stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They'll be breaking actual furniture and, but it's not break, and cars though. and stuff. Like this one is wood. actually. Huh? It's wood though. It's not break. It's it's wood. The the wall. I guess. The way he turned red. I don't know about yeah. that. Yeah. 
<laughs> it was like flush. I'm trying not to laugh about this. Are you guys? You guys know? find it funny? I don't know what's wrong with you yeah, people. Yeah, there's nothing funny about the video. There's nothing funny about that video. Yeah. Okay. So you guys like to hurt us emotionally, and it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> you guys no, that? Yeah, that's so cool. No, it's but not. When it's about physical no, pain, it's not. You know about that's <laughs> not true. I refuse to accept that for my kind, my gender. <laughs> All right, is everybody ready? Yes, yeah. yes, let's go, okay. man. All right, people. Bye. Nigerian video vixen Omo Bolali, popularly known as Pepe Dem, has been sent packing from her matrimonial house by her husband, obviously. According to her husband, Abiodun Lincoln, they had an argument that turned violent. He went on to share videos and photos of some items in their homes that were destroyed as a result of the fight. He also revealed that their marriage was a sham as he only married her for clout. In one of the videos he shared on Instagram, Lincoln revealed that he has a family in South Africa. I wouldn't entertain any form of disrespect from Bolanle. Bolanle, who is a nursing I mother... Disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> to, to not ask for disrespect. You are so disrespectful asking not, Your to, mouth be, is so not to be disrespected. You asked for disrespect. <laughs> um, Bolanle, who is a nursing mother, rose <laughs> to prominence after she featured in Zanzlan Ibili's hit single, Pepe Dem. Alrighty. Uh, what? <laughs> when I saw this video, I was like... What is going on? Cause you married her for clout. That's not okay. Like the fact that you marry somebody then come publicly to embarrass them like this. There was even a video where I think he was recording her and she looked so bad. Yeah, she like looked this is like six months after you just got married to somebody and she looks like this mm. with you. And you were saying, he had a video saying that um, I think she used to mess around with Zatan's guys mm. and stuff like that. For your husband to come and do this to you, I, I, I don't like to get involved in marital issues, but like, my question is, what made you marry this man? Mm. Because this man doesn't seem like a normal person <laughs> at mm. all. Because the only the only explanation I can get is, okay, our wedding day, she was pregnant for him. Mm. So maybe... It's because of the baby. Yes, because to me... There has to family. be yes, there, there has to be a reasonable explanation why mm. this man did he made another video crying. Like this whole thing is this whole thing is a lot to me, to be very honest. Like she needs to actually address this. Mm. She needs to to be very honest. Cause this man, he's mentally deranged. <laughs> to be very honest, he's he's not alright. <laughs> nah, that video was bad. Uh, it's very weird. I'm I mean, very I mean, embarrassed. When, when I first saw the video on social media, I don't know anything about these people. Mm -hmm. I've never, I don't even know Pepe them or whoever. But when I first saw it, I'm like, oh, there's a lady that is dismantling and damaging mm -hmm. properties in the house. Mm -hmm. And I went to the comment section, everybody was like, this man is crazy, this man is crazy. And I was kind of confused. I'm like, it's, but it's the girl that's being violent here. Mm -hmm. Why am mm -hmm. I not talking about that? It's like, yeah. that's not okay. You know, why are you destroying properties mm -hmm. and stuff like that? I don't mm -hmm. care who you are. As long as you're destroying properties or you're throwing the first punch, it's not okay. Mm -hmm. So I didn't understand what the fuss was about so i was thinking maybe there's a backstory because mm. it can't be that everybody in this comment section are all just um being Lies. biased to women and stuff but then i now saw the crying video mm -hmm. and all the nonsense that's coming out of his mouth wow. i mean it still doesn't take away from the fact that if she if she was violent at home i don't i don't think i'm okay i'm not okay with that um if she's damaging properties and and her and you know being violent at home that's not okay but obviously there's, there's, there's more yeah there's, there's obviously more a reason to that to this story and yes exactly that it seems like the man is antagonizing mm -hmm. her in certain ways and stuff like that the whole thing is a mess he seems like he's really hurt he seems like he's a very sensitive man yeah and, he's and, just and, and, and you know he's in his feelings <laughs> about <laughs> about a lot of things but um it doesn't make sense to me personally to be very honest. Right, so for me right um they say two wrongs don't make a right so i was having a conversation in the newsroom before we he came upstairs right and the guy was telling me that how can everybody just be supporting the woman that it's not fair on mm. guys that why are they always supporting women once it's domestic violence what is violence mm. against you know and the woman is involved everybody takes the side of the woman and i said i used to think like you for a very long time i think until recently and i think you were part of the reasons why i learned that as well i think yourself and olamide then there was a calendar that i was put in the newsroom and i asked the question then i went further to do my research i said think about the strength think about the ratio now if a man mm -hmm. if a woman should run towards a man with a knife there's 90 percent probability that will break her and mm, take the yeah. knife and disarm her mm. but if you run if a man should run towards a woman with a knife she's probably going, 
then she dies. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So we need to start putting things like that into consideration. consideration. Start putting things like <clears throat> you can't be all about who's at fault when it comes to a woman. Mm. Now, I get we want to say equality and all of that, but when it comes to strength and when it comes to violence, that's a different ball game entirely. If you're having a mouth fight, mm -hmm. no yawa. But the moment things are getting broken, things are emotions are rising. Do you understand? Mistakes can be made, either from the man, either from the woman. So at the end of the day, if men have an issue, I say, man, this see any woman will beat me. I'll make a video. She beats me, guys. <laughs> guys, come and help no, me. No, 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 no. I'm no, not no. playing. <laughs> Do you understand? There's no discrimination. You cannot see. Men will actually need to start speaking up about the things you're going. So it's not after you started beating up a woman or you guys are having issues that you want to start coming out to tell us it's for clout. So at that point, he lost it. Yeah. yeah. Do you understand? So even if we're going to support him, him for he said being, a lot of wrong for, yeah. for, even if we're going to support him that the woman was a violent one, the moment you started coming now yes. to start talk, to start talking about those things, it just showed that okay, this could have been the things you said that made emotions yeah. rise. Exactly. Do you understand? This could have been some of the actions you pulled that made it all go crazy. And like I started with, two wrongs don't make it right. right. If a woman is trying to tantrum, as a man, stay calm. Like, if a man like Likewise, oh, mm. if a man is trained tantrum, as a woman, just even if you it's don't not, believe it's not it, so easy to say calm because you're just avoiding being hurt in that moment. Like, no, it's not avoiding. No, if you see it that way, you probably feel like you're doing somebody a favor. Just see it as we are okay. You, you're angry. Oh yeah, let me stay calm. Do you understand? There's no point in being angry together, especially in a relationship. Then not to talk of marriage. Do you understand? Agreed. The moment you agree to marry somebody, you've agreed to marry them with all of their flaws, all of their stupidity, all of that. So the moment you see that they're not acting normal, why don't you stay calm? Oh, please, can we stop marrying because of kids? You know? Yes. Can we stop marrying? Yes. Please. Please. Because it's like it's sad. It's, it's the most dumbest thing I've ever heard because you're lying. It's a you're lying to yourself because. If anything, the one person that's going to suffer the most is it's the, the child. child. Yes, because exactly. they're going to they're going to know from the beginning that this is not a good home. My mm -hmm. parents don't love each other, and mm. it's, you're better off not seeing that by being with your grandma and the people that love you and your mm. mom and her yeah. boyfriend mm. or whatever mm. else it is. Mm. Like um, kids don't really care if you're mm. married by the courts and mommy and dad. As long as there's a safe environment that, that that you know everybody in that house loves each other, they're okay. So why do you th why do you need to marry someone that you don't love because you want to have a baby like and then i told the guy to that look at least maybe like before friday we had another domestic violence case right like even when it happens to men when do you even hear that ah a man said his wife did this do you care what i mean like mm -hmm. men should just speak up tell you truth we know that yes we're fighting for equality but at the end of the day you don't go around it's like when this guy lost us just this big brother guy that said um somebody did fellatio uh, with him and um he had a swollen penis do you remember the guy? Oh, no. Brito and um, oh. what's the name? Um, Dorothy. Right. Oh. Wow. Oh. Like, you <laughs> so everybody was like, okay, why are you telling this business? Yes. Then the guy woke up the next morning and to come and tell her, oh, oh, after the fellatio, like. I had a swollen penis. He lost us. Mm. Do you get me? So why? that's just how it is. So the way you react to certain situations counts. I know always say this thing. I always say like once I know that I've been harmed mm -hmm. or you know I've got you in the act of you know doing something that's wrong to me, I make sure that I don't do anything to, make to take worse. away my innocence. Mm. If it's in the method in which I say it, I have to make sure that I'm not rude because now it's no longer be about yes. what's going on. It's oh how if I said it or yeah. how mm. or yeah. why did I also do mm. that and stuff like that. So mm. yeah, I, that's a very big one that I know that I mm. I relate to properly, yes. but. Yeah, there's so many things from from the fact that you have another family. Okay, mm, uh, yes, all right. Like, okay, what does the that way mean? he said mm. it, I have a wife in SA. Why like are you okay. stressing me? Like, like you're okay. not supposed to stress me. Like, okay, <laughs> like what she's supposed to do now? Why do you have like, a wife in SA and a yeah. wife in Nigeria? <laughs> and why did she agree to marry him and become his second wife? Like, there's there's actually a no, lot to this story that, one, that, that we don't know. That one is not our cause. <laughs> 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 like, when decide to become does second. She, does, she, does she know Exactly. That, um, Before he came here, I started saying For him yeah. to come out and say it, I don't think he was trying to keep it. I yeah. didn't think it was a confession statement. It mm. felt like it was something that was public already. Like, so, but you already know I have a family in SA. Why you still did disturb me? Why did she marry this yeah, guy? Yeah, exactly. That's, that's the first thing I asked. Why? 
why did she marry this guy? Mm. It's the same thing with this other lady that I always keep on mixing with, with Yabojo, but it's not Yabojo, the other one. Okay, she bless No, no your bad name as well. No, another one that looks like her. Yeah. Messi. Is it? Messi Yes, yeah. Messi Yeah, Messi Messi yeah. the same thing with her. She's such a beautiful, smart. Yes. If you see the... The, Guys, the stop. man Don't, that she's dealing with Gentry. the horrible yes. things Gentry. he says yes. on I think it was Father's Day. Yes, I think I saw the that. Ghetto that was one of this guy's about, mouth. If you paid her fees or something, something that has to do with You're fees. not a good wife. I think yeah. he wants her back though. You can kinda see that like that was a bit That's like, why he's not giving the divorce. He wants I miss Messi's Messi is doing a lot better now. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, compared to when they were all. together. Oh yeah. my gosh, this thing just gives me goosebumps mm. because it looks like marriage just um deteriorates women in my like opinion. Yeah. Relationship itself is a scam. I think so. Like marriage mm. is a scam. Marriage is a scam. I think you know what I think oh, we should marriages. take out the whole marriage thing. Let's just have good relationships, no need for marriage, no need to put a tag to it, you know, and just be happy. I'm okay with that. I feel too. like the problem with that is there was something I watched and somebody said something that made so much sense. You shouldn't date for marriage. You should date and see where it goes. Because mm. most people actually date for marriage. So you tend to tolerate a lot of things because you want to marry this person. Yeah. Things you're not supposed to tolerate normally. So like, okay, maybe as we grow in the marriage, he will stop this, he will stop that. And that's the problem. People should actually calm down. Love the person first, let the relationship grow first, mm. then you can now see if it leads to marriage or not. Because mm. women tend to suffer a lot in marriage. Too much. A lot. And well, most of them think? stay because of this, the kids. This, this particular story now, if they you stay end, because you see that the, the guy's kids. life is gonna move on just fine. Exactly. It is and what happens now to Bolale? Like, Bola, uh, um, no, Lincoln's ex. Wife. Yeah, hey. Hey, hey. and Lincoln, Lincoln will be Lincoln. Uh, Lincoln will be Lincoln. Lincoln's, Lincoln's ex -wife. ex wife. She becomes Lincoln's ex wife. Exactly. You see, that's what I like PDA mm. as well. Because I love it. Honestly, I love PDA. Oh. I love, but we see when in society, once you start doing yeah. Kini, I'll start knowing that my name will start changing to this guy's babe. Mm. I'm no longer a face. This Whiskey guy's baby babe. Mama. But me, I'm holding you. Why are you not Whiskey this guy's baby? Um, mama, right? This girl's babe. Anyway, shout. The story is true. Uh, um, like. The first baby that. <laughs> 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 but this is this all right too. Even, but wait. Even, even when they become so powerful, mm. as long as you date a man, you still look at Jada and Whiskey. Mm -hmm. Jada is a big girl. A deal, yeah. A big deal. Before we even knew who Whiskey was, this girl was uh, already. Not before we knew as it's uh, uh, not on an international scale for sure. She was she was before manager with and um, was Swiss Beats, all these other people. Like she That's was. That's not a problem. She, she was, was not that big then. She was it doesn't like, matter. She, she still was had big. What I see. She was acting like she had a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Did you catch that? <laughs> Please, I beg. I'm triggered. <laughs> She does not deserve to be Whiskey's baby mama. She deserves <laughs> way more than that. But it's okay. Nigerian music mogul Ubi Franklin has narrated how a petty thief almost ruined his son's birthday party. Franklin and his former wife Lillian Esoro celebrated their son, Jaden, over the weekend as he turned five. In a video shared via his Instagram page, the alleged thief was reported to have met his Waterloo at the event. The father of four later released a video where he gave tips on how to be vigilant during an occasion. Franklin and Isoro invited close friends and family over the weekend for their son's fifth birthday. Um, I don't want to ever be caught stealing. You don't want to ever <laughs> my steal. Life. Be caught. <laughs> You I don't think I can steal. I see my mom's money. I'm not even lying. Mommy, I'm sorry. Now I'm back in the days now. Just I see, see my mom's money. Till now? Yes, so till huh. now I'm like, oh my mom's money. All these millions you're making. Is, you don't know that <laughs> sweet money, free money is sweet. Sweet out. Ah. No lie. Sweet free money, very nice. Oh mom, but at the end of the day, eh, see, it's not about. I feel like they should catch more of them. The only thing I have a problem with is the jungle justice. Mm. Yeah. You understand? Lonely, you and the people are going through things. See, people will start beating mm. before they start knowing. What do you think I disagree. I disagree. I think, I think I think exactly. that that um, jungle justice is very important for me for that uh, to be a tactic uh, no. because honestly speaking, there's a lot of people that stop. They don't have the mind because the risk the the risk at hand is that you can get jungle justice. Mm -hmm. Once you take that out and start treating them as human beings, what's going to honestly stop me? Like if I think okay, the worst is going to be that. the rest. Hmm? It's not treating anyone. But we don't like have citizens really. arrest. We do have citizens arrest. If you do something bad, I can hold you. You you do something passive, I'll not hold you down. 
I will you down to the police gates here. Policemen never get exactly. there. But I will take you there by myself. We will drag you inside my car. We will tie you up. We'll <laughs> like around. No one will We will drop you in the police station. Have. You don't want citizens arrest you. You, you, just do mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I beg you. <laughs> it's not. It's not very effective here. It, we don't need jungle justice everywhere else because we have a very strong mm -hmm. um, mm. law enforcement presence. Yeah, it's true that. Um, I agree with what you. And we know saying, that though. once you, once you're arrested, this person's gonna actually do their job no matter who yeah. you are. You're gonna have a record. You're gonna be going to prison and all of that kind of stuff. But here. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm more afraid of jungle justice than I am of the police. Police, so you just bribe them like that. Fair tactic is very important. I feel like if you over normalize it or you if you put too much distance into it, you encourage it. Father, go ask you say, what is it? Two iPhone eleven, one twelve. Where are you? Hold the twelve. Give us the two eleven. They go. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's I'm like that's But because of jungle justice, you can't see somebody entering comfortably to steal. Absolutely. Because hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. I was just there recently, like that's a fact. Yeah, it's, the police station. No, um computer village. Computer village. Oh. Yeah. Before you leave that place don't hmm. And that's Have really the thing where um you know someone takes the money out and money to go buy a phone and then they get back and they see that it's a case of the phone brand they're trying. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, you that is, so sad. is that the same place you now want to steal from? <laughs> yeah, like you want to steal from the stealers. <laughs> how do you do that? Like, exactly. <laughs> like how do you really do that? But I'm, I'm, I mean it's it's I like what you were touching on when you were like, but, but there's issues and stuff. We're not going to lie and say that, that that these people are all just horrible, petty mm -hmm. thieves. Look, mm -hmm. A lot of the times, um, you look at the reflection of the society, that these are what the society has produced. That guy was very he was well dressed. Yes. yes. And like you'd be wondering, unless he's a, what's he called now, a kleptomaniac, right? Yes. Then which I he can be. be. Yeah. Which no, no, disp no, no, no dispute in that. Yeah. But um, I just feel like there had to be a backstory for that guy. There's a backstory for Everything. all thieves. Every all the old boys have a story. All the people who everybody has a story. No, this particular one, be like saying, I feel like they should have given us the full details of the people who survive. Most of them. Most like someone that had like serious, he was in shock. Like, how can they catch me? Like, oh, everybody's shock always in shock now. Why is the age that's making you um, sympathetic or something? No, no he, he actually looked well dressed. Mm. Do you understand? Maybe he came for the event. His hair was well groomed. Do you get what I mean? Like, yeah, maybe something is going on. Yeah, something really pressing. Do you get like the guy was well shaved? Didn't go baba now. Like, didn't go baba on Saturday actually yeah. before he didn't go. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't look like. Yes, now this guy looks like somebody that actually came out to have fun but just said oh see opportunity you make i just take what this one and it was oh, exactly that's the, that's, that's a very to. good question how uh, about this in jeans she are not looking good <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> anyways uh, imagine, uh, imagine going on social media and saying oh, that's your dad wow. that would be so sad Bro. and then imagine it was for your school fees mm. Mm. it is well please music break i beg for any music take it away
joy that I'm choosing, I keep it moving. Look up, look up, boy, I got my lessons. No stress, no stress, I got pure intentions. Look up, look up, oh, I count my blessings One day at a time, live my life, yeah Live my life, yeah Live my life Baby, it's up to you What you want Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. So we're going to go to um, an important story for Ife. Because, you know, if we don't talk about whiskey, Ife is going to come back to Tea Time. So um, it's really important that we do the Lord's work for Ife. No, okay? this is not about... This one was totally unnecessary. It's not about whiskey. Whiskey would never put that out there again. Whiskey would never even address his son's skin color. Uh-uh. Do you get me? Yeah, no, no, I get you. You uh, get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whiskey would not talk. We don't concept whiskey. Does this. It's your problem with his son's skin color. Then it's only saying money. Okay. Do you get I mean? I mean, I know, yeah. I know what we're really excited to talk about whiskey, but can I read the story first before yeah, you? Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm not excited about whiskey. Okay. Oh, I mean, I mean, oh, no, 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 you're not excited at all. No, no, no. Okay. How can I read? Read whiskey too. I mean, you know. No. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Afrobeat singer, whiskey's second uh, baby. Hey, God. <laughs> second baby mama, Binta Diallo, has revealed why her son, King Ayo's skin is getting darker. This is after a troll told her in a live question and answer chat via her Instagram stories that she should do something about her son's skin color because he is getting dark. The fan wrote, King Aya is getting black, or please try to do something. Love you. <laughs> to which she replied, I'm literally getting sick and tired of hearing about how my son is getting black. Like, really? It's summer out here and it's hot AF and he plays outside every day at the pool, so it's cause his skin tone gets darker during summertime. By the way, King Ayo has his papa's skin color, not mine. Hmm. Huh. This kid black. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I wish, I wish you replied better. Yes. I wish you didn't reply at all. Like, no, I wish, no, 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 I wish you replied better. She replied better. better. I wish you replied better. That yes. was, Do you as, in, as in, it was like borderline just rubbish. Exactly. Like, this summer. it remains small. I would have been offended if even if it wasn't summer. What's your business? You know, like, and I wish she, I wish I she spoke like about the, the color nice, nicer, nicer. Like, nicer. I'm trying to avoid her son. Oh, it's just, it's just wrong in so many ways. Mm. <laughs> I was gonna say something silly, but I won't tell you. I was gonna talk about President of the United States of America and uh -uh. summer, but let's just put that. <laughs> that maybe we, maybe we'll be a bit darker. <laughs> <laughs> People get darker. Maybe summer is over. It's back. People just get. I've gotten ten times darker than I was when I first came back. Like you get darker in sun, but not dark enough that you would. What's wrong with the sun? Isn't that the thing you go back? No, you get darker for sure. Like if you go abroad mm -hmm. now, give yourself mm. like two, three months, and you don't do any skincare, you will get. And if you go to a place where that has winter, you're going to get a bit lighter. Your skin is going to be different. My skin looks different in every region because. Region has a lot to do with your skin tone. That, that. Um, so that, that that's that's not something. Yeah, that, but but you don't change. Is, you don't jump. The problem is this one is one region shades. that the boy has been in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Well, now it's just outside. <laughs> it's just yeah, outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you outside? outside. <laughs> Catch me outside. <laughs> okay, you know what? This is my. This is what I'm gonna say. This is a borderline colorism question, right? In my opinion. Mm -hmm. There is an issue with how black people see themselves. We don't like being dark skinned and that has been that is a baby or mm. a baby cousin or a, a the child of racism. Color, colorism was birthed from racism. It's ridiculous, it's a white mentality thing, and us perpetrating it is making me sick to my stomach because even the white people that came to do that rubbish have stopped and I've mm. moved on. And we're still the ones mm -hmm. shouting and pulling for dark skin. God forbid I'm dark skin. Like stop it please. Um the kid cannot be darker, can be black, white, indigo. These I think all shades are beautiful and there's nothing to be worried about if your child is getting darker like most kids most black people actually are born pretty light most mm -hmm. babies are pretty light and then they grow grow into a darker skin tone and there's nothing wrong with that and i wish that the mother had that mindset because i know that she doesn't if she did mm. she would have said that yeah. she would have said that there's nothing wrong with my son being dark, dark. Matter skin. Of fact, she wished to, she he was it, our I, color I, exactly Probably. yeah so that's because color she, reason. She, yeah exactly so um sweetie i like that at least you're okay you're, you're with me when you say that you don't want to bleach your son's skin so even if mm -hmm. you're not pro-black at least you don't want to bleach his mm -hmm. skin so we thank god for that just leave the poor boy alone with whatever skin tone he he wants to have but well, let's continue not to he wants to have that he, he has he, he's giving it <laughs> i'm tired of it, honestly um so yeah um i feel like it's unnecessary. I wish she she got more educated mm -hmm. about the whole story. Mm -hmm. I wish somebody would tell her to get more educated about that story because I think mothers are the first, um, you know, first people to really love on their children. And how your mother compliments you or treats your mm. skin and your hair mm. is very important. I remember growing up, our, our mother used to take us to go um, relax our hair every time mm -hmm. it was due. So from a young age, it was something that like, oh, your your curls are not very nice. Having due hair is not very nice. Well, due mm. hair is actually like mm. my hair. So you know that that has um, had its own effect of, of, on on the black community. You can see that girls even till today, when we want to look the most prettiest, we wear weaves or we wear yeah. um, we cover our natural hair and stuff. So mm. it's because we were not loved right from from the very beginning. And I'm not blaming our parents because they got the same treatment as yeah, well. Exactly. So, but yeah, educate yourself again. It, it's a work society do better and leave your son's skin alone and the fans can you just shut exactly. the hell up exactly and mind your business please thank oh. you oh. god thank you jerry <laughs> <laughs> thank you nice one uh -uh. your take i'm fatter <laughs> you actually yeah, you have a stomach now when no. i mean you do not have a stomach now you have a stomach i think no i don't have a stomach you have a stomach you, you look like you're 40 now and by the time you sit down you're like ah Hi, Daddy. Good evening, sir. Do you want anything? Oh, she has nothing more. Are you fooling me? That's how money comes to get me. Anyway, yeah. Mm. All right. So, um, for me, I just feel like um, this story is not even something we should be um talking about. You know, from um, being um, the angle of colorism, like it's not something we should be talking about. Like, well, who cares if a child is darker? It's born to African parents. <laughs> Do you understand? You don't expect him to be white. You don't expect him. Yeah, but yes, if you see something, but you know there are people that you actually see that you know that it is the problem that is making them darker. <laughs> but you know, right? But this but is you a know. child. This is a child. And is yes. it really getting darker? Let's can we even have that conversation? Because the kid I saw she was just tan. Yeah, it was just tan. And but I, like you said, I wish he said it better. But man, at but the why end does of the day, kids, kids have like serious head like this? I don't. Yeah, we see that. Movie kids doesn't have a head like that. This one looks exactly like. You're talking about the child. This child looks amazing. No, I'm not saying that it's not amazing. I'm just saying that the feature is. I thought because when I first saw what's his name Bolu, Bolu. Was that the, I thought it was from his mom. That he got that like you know forehead thing that he has, oh. but then this one has the same thing too. Same. But oh, whiskey doesn't, thing. yeah. But whiskey doesn't even have it. So I maybe it's his grand, whiskey's grandma or oh, whiskey's dad. dad or something. So cute. You like it? Yeah, it's cool. Great. I mean, I'm five head gang, so I have to like it. Shut down. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. So basically, man, I don't think she should have even responded if you ask me. So yeah. I don't even want to talk she about this story. Yeah, she shouldn't have even said a word. No, I think she should have used that opportunity to educate people. I think what? colorism is an important what? conversation to be had, to be very True honest. Um, I think that we need to talk about that. If more people um, are outrightly, because, you know, there's a deprived, there's a deprived love mm -hmm. and aff affection to the dark skin community. Mm -hmm. It's unwanted, it's gross, it's the ugliest. So I think that those kind of questions need to be answered positively. Yeah. But she just like, mm. just played around, just like, <laughs> hey, yeah, I don't know, man, I don't want to be my skin. <laughs> <laughs> 
like mm, okay. uh, mm. <laughs> she just like yeah, yeah yeah i wish she like you know loved her son mm -hmm. in the in that moment like i'm not sure she was her son but you know what i mean like put love into his skin tone whatever shape or form or size or shape yeah. it was going to be uh, that's how i wish she would have handled that conversation for me like. all right shall we move on yeah. Yes, yes, okay. yes. <laughs> Singer um, Wendy Shea has made some clarifications, which she claims is what really meant is what she really meant when she when she said that underground Nigerian artists easily get to date top Ghanaian female celebrities in a recent interview. She said, "You will see a top artist or top celebrity here in Ghana." Who will be wanting a female here and she won't give him any chance but if an artist who is not even big in his country it might not even be nigeria comes to her that person will get the chance to be with the ghanaian top artist according to her she's only implying that ghanaians would generally love should generally love their own and not like outside babe Relax. What are you like, like, like <laughs> calm down sis what do you want about today wendy well, I don't know. I think we should say our cameraman is Ghanaian, so maybe we, <laughs> yeah, should, bring we should all table. bring him to the table so that people can like you know. So what's going on with your Ghanaian sisters? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Why don't you love your your, your people? Um, uh, okay. Anyways, anyways, um, I can't get where she's coming from. People like. Let me tell you why I get where she's coming from. People like what is different. Mm. <clears throat> Do you understand? People want the new experiences. Do you get? So the fact that you've been in Ghana all your life, then you now see one see finish. And you now know yeah. one type of uh, you know all these upcoming artists now then they dress past <laughs> and it's not even original. That's the painful part. He now speaks to you, Nigerian people uh, to you. Say, how fun of babe. Half a babe. Half a yeah. babe. You understand? You know they show you, say, Oh, where can I change Naira? I'm on D. Be like dollars. Always oh, asking question like, oh, oh where, where can I go to in Ghana's experience? Yeah, yeah. So like, 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 where can I, can I get local? You. I think oh you get like oh. things like that will just bring attraction, connection, Absolutely. and before you know you're spending Absolutely. time with these people. And of course we know Nigerians love to spend. Yeah. See, the and way even we even away from spending, we're quite affectionate the way we're a nigerian boy will spend elaborate 50, with our thousand naira will be different from the way a ghanaian man will spend fifty thousand cities that's some period do you get what i mean just fifty thousand naira. but you see the as ghanaian man will get fifty thousand cities go buy one meat one fufu and one banku and he go chop he don't do okay mm -hmm. but nigerian boy go say put pomo put shaggy put mm -hmm. the and you're looking at it's just food yeah, guys so you're balling yeah. Yeah. do you get so you get more creative with your stuff so i don't blame the women I just think it's it's global. You see the way our Nigerian girls also act around a lot of white men. Mm. Do you get where I'm coming from? Yeah, you yeah. see that a lot I, too. I think I think Nigerians don't really like white people though. And not anymore. Before, no, before. In, Maybe were, during my were, time. Are you serious? To, to be, I feel like it's a mumu thing going on now. Like, ugh, he's mumu. That's the vibe I was getting. No, 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 nobody. Yeah. See, Nigerian girls act funny around white men. Not funny. They just. They have a soft spot for them. <laughs> like they just, they just have them. an idea that he has money, so. Ah, know. okay. May I not even see that way? May I just felt like because it's different. No. Right? It's because definitely as a means of getting out of the country. Exactly. You get me. Yeah. People just like it's things that are different, yeah. different experiences. Exactly. Being gonna... with a white man is a totally different exper uh, uh, experience. You know, wake up and somebody is telling you, "Can you make pop?" <laughs> yeah. 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 Like this man is probably ordering from the from the you know what? Oh, he's making breakfast. In yeah, so he's making exactly. breakfast. He's going to make some steaks and stuff. Like so you know, you get you me know that difference. Even my my ex, my fiance was a white person, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to tell you everything. Fast said is facts. It was kind of like a mind boggling thing for me mm -hmm. when I moved away from Australia to Nigeria because their lives are very different. I'm um, in Australia. It's a white dominated place. Mm. Being dark, not not just being black. Being dark skin was like. <laughs> like the no, best no. thing after fried rice it, there's nowhere i went to that i wasn't sought after that i wasn't looked at that i wasn't wanted mm -hmm. that i wasn't mm. deemed attractive mm. um it was top of the food chain like mm. you know there'll be white girls there but there's no way that i wouldn't get at least if there's 10 men in the room at least five would be like even if those come and talk to me and it's all about being exotic right mm. and exotic yeah. is in context mm. in nigeria i'm not exotic if anything i'm down the food chain because nobody even cares here but um you know when you go we outside do. we do right Hmm? What? We do now. We do. I think she's a sergeant, right? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I, no, no I, I mean, guess. without me talking though, like I look like a Nigerian babe. I'm, I'm a Nigerian babe. I'm oh, not. Yeah, she looks like a Nigerian. Yeah, babe. for sure. Even you, you look she like a Nigerian babe. But if point. I put you in 
like in, in a Scottish environment now, for example, you're gonna you're the only one with braids. You're the only one who's dark. You're the only one who's black. So the only one they want to talk to. Exactly. So the, to your new catch and everything. Um, I, I remember my, my my friend. She's been on the table before. Lamia. Mm. I always say that our lives are like. That's how I was in Australia. How she is here. So she looks Moroccan and everything. People know her name quicker because her face stands out in mm. this yeah. context and things like that. So there's nothing really wrong with wanting to. Mm -hmm. Explore that, and I like what you said about you know um, that nobody's going to ask you for pap. It's not because they don't want to. Most people, I think, why people ask their own white partners for food. Mm -hmm. But when you get into an inter inter interracial inter inter cultural yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. relationship, we know that we're from different places, so we don't have expectations. Mm. So now we ask. Do you make mm. breakfast? Mm -hmm. Can I have breakfast? Mm -hmm. Or if you're Igbo and I'm Igbo, you know that I'm supposed to have breakfast. Exactly. Make me your breakfast. Make me your breakfast. Make me your Make me your breakfast. 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 Make me your I'm talking oh, about it because of Shea, uh, Wendy Shea oh, yes, says yes, that, you know, true. you know, very... I completely forgot about that. Yes, yeah, so yes, Ni Nigerian, you know, wherever, and I like how she put it to that, look, is everywhere. Is a Ghanaian established artist, they know it's the same life. What do you want to show me again? Mm. Right about mm. Shea, you get what I mean? But if yeah. a Nigerian guy should come that is probably upcoming, yes, by all means, can you take care of me? That's the cocoa. Am I yeah, happy exactly. with you? That's the cocoa. Yeah, and I don't even like me? that she put the upcoming, because it's not really about yeah. that for exactly. those people. It's just the fact it's that they are very different. Yeah, different yeah. cultures. Yeah, yeah basically. Sure. All right. Okay, so we've dissected the story. I think I we've analyzed so. it.